Another important thing I learnt about sign language is that it's really important to do them correctly. So when I was first learning the kinship signs, um, I was a bit hesitant about touching certain parts of my body, which is a very um, Ballander concept that we don't really, I guess, touch our breast region when talking or even when doing it. So the kids in my class were teaching me the sign for mother. And so they were very, you know, touching their breast area here. And so I was like, oh, so um, Amala, Nandi or Nama, whatever term you're using, oh, that's up here. Oh, so I said, oh, yeah, mum. And then I had a seven-year-old kid come up to me and say, yuck, yuck. And then they got their hand and they were like, here. <laughs> so I very quickly learned that, okay, I'm just going to have to put aside my own ideas of where it's okay or not okay to touch and just accept that when you make the sign for mother it is most definitely down here and not up here. So I guess that's an interesting thing for us to consider as um, non-numeral that this whereabouts you make the signs does matter and you sometimes have to get over some of your own cultural reserves about where you may or may not touch.